Hello and welcome to this art stream. Tonight I'll be working on the Bruce Tim style drawing for inf based on influences in my art and then if we have time some comic work too. Honestly probably mostly comic work because it takes a while to do that so. Eh. Last stream I Set, I set up the uh, most of the figure here using art pose and now I'm just going to go over it and clean it up. So. Yeah. Probably should have found that before I started the stream, but oh well. <laughs> I'll just improvise and then go back and clean it one more time before I actually post this. Hands a little hot. I think last stream I was trying to decide on whether to do uh, baggy clothing and I think I'm going to stick with it because I like it. It kind of adds more to her. Gives her This is one of the brush full brushes. I got them on sale. He does a lot of sales though, so you could probably get them pretty easily. And I think they're they're made for both uh Procreate and uh Clip Studio as well as I think Photoshop as well. So worth they're worth it. Well, just took a sip of coffee, so hopefully I sleep tonight. <laughs> we'll see. I uh, picked up a book on Lord this weekend, so I'm going to try and plan out some drawings based on uh, characters or creatures. Our creatures for this um, coming month with uh, Faye B. Was it Faye Burary or Fairy Airy or whatever it's called? There's so many different names for it, but essentially just the art challenge around drawing fairies. And I found some pretty cool, like uh, skin. There's like an entire section in this book on like Scandinavian folklore and Celtic folklore, which are two that have a lot to do with fairies, so we'll see. Do, 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 do. <sighs> Not sure if this is a hundred percent accurate, but it's what I want. <laughs> it's close enough. Actually, well, that wouldn't be close. That would be a little too far or too... It'd be more like that if it was... Yeah. Something like that. I think. And then she's got her hair. So. 
That's better. Do, 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 do. Uh. Let me just check something. I'm curious. <laughs> this is me just, my brain just randomly has side tangents and I'm just gonna look something up really quick because I was gonna say I uh, recently watched uh, that sudden that 90s show and it's whoops yeah oh and it's really good I was worried it would be like all these uh, other remakes and stuff but everyone on it all the re returning actors and everything like the <laughs> Deborah Jo I'm gonna butcher her name it's Deborah Joroop as Kitty Foreman really she's funny <laughs> they really style her hair because I'm looking at her right here the her other picture and she's like very different and Kurtwood Smith is back. He's been in a lot of other things too. I'm curious about this new girl who's the uh, main character, Leia. She was in a couple of things, nothing I really heard of, but a couple of films. Yeah. I mean, she's young, so not surprising. Yeah, Kurtwood Smith has been in, like everything. It's like, oh, he goes back to like, yeah, he's from, he was in RoboCop. I forgot. <laughs> so, yeah, he's, he's been in a lot. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to check that out. I got some of the old cast from that Sunday show to come back, like, but not all of them. I we'll see how many come back. I didn't. I I closed it because I want to get back to work. <laughs> but yeah, it was good. One second again. I'm everywhere at once. Do, 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 do. That's my chair. If I draw in Bruce Tim style, I gotta make her more curvy. So she's mostly got an athletic build, but I guess she is kinda curvy anyway, so that's why I kinda chose her. She's kinda like I kinda based her off like some of the uh characters from like uh Avatar Last Year Bender but like an adult version of one of them. Do, 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 do. And I'm also drawing her 
X. Oh, that's right. She doesn't have those boots on. I forgot. Sorry, chat. I'm. Oh, excuse me. Just remembering now, she has the gambit boots. Mona Mia. Gotta stop being so sketchy. It's important to have just one good line versus a hundred. Like, I mean, it's always fine to just like take your time and le learn and get better, but <laughs> something I've been told by a couple different te uh, people on YouTube. It's just like it's good to have a solid single stroke if you can. Unless you're going for something like an effect like maybe like speed or something where you like you'd want something like that. I'm not going to let my arm cramp up this time. I did some stretches beforehand, so. It's funny how like just facial hair is just something I always have been doing with these last two characters with my characters lately. Like in the old in this comic that I was working on. I kind of changed uh, the main character, this guy, to uh, have this like uh, I don't know what that's called. Is that like a half, like a some kind of goatee, or like a half or a beard, but like yeah. And then with Richard, I. I did the other kind. I did like the uh, crazy mustache. for him now I'll rough it I'll do it this is gonna be a I guess a rough section for him maybe I'll do it on a different layer so that I can just delete it when I'm done with it Come on, coffee, work. <laughs> what, 15 minutes already, geez. Come on, time, stop going so fast. Oh. 
still want to keep uh, coal down here in the corner, just like just reading a paperback. Like, yep, that that looks great, guys. Mm -hmm. Like, yep, so suspenseful. Just happy in his book. <laughs> I, think you're I think I may have made his head too big, possibly. We can fix that. Although, maybe not. I think I was pretty close. I'll double check when I do the uh, art pose. But. <laughs> yeah, she like jumped off the ropes and jump kicked him in the face. His foot's actually up like this, actually, to show just how much impact. Like, his one foot's up like, what? And his other foot is like that. Yeah. That looks more like what it should be. Although. Might change the orientation of the ring, but whatever. That's hardly important at the moment. Just. These rough line, this little rough line work in is all that matters for the moment. And his other hand's behind him, so it's probably like that. Cheating. I don't care. Maybe those are just empty chairs. Actually, it's like he doesn't. Need, I'll clean them up, but uh, I might just make them empty chairs because no one cared. It's just like they just rented it out for a day just to do some boxing. Eh? Maybe it's... Well, that's not an excuse, D. I don't care if you're driving. <laughs> Turn on the stream now, or I'm going to ban you. Oh, yeah, I can't do that on YouTube. Turn. No power here. <laughs> I'm, jo I'm obviously joking. <laughs> For now.
do, 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 do. Hmm. I think this might be... I might do one more later on for the style, but I want to space them out a little bit more after this. I'm just doing this because I kind of already started it and figure I'll finish these two and I'll do one later on. But like I said, in, Fe in February, I might do some more like uh, fairy tale stuff, like challenges for on the, my live, my live sessions. And then, yeah, I'll, I'm trying to think what else. I had a couple other ideas. I wrote them all down. Maybe we talked about, I, I talked about a lot of them last stream, so I won't go rambling again. Please refer to episode blah, blah, blah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Point is, I just have, I have some other ideas for things to do. I think I was. I can't remember if I talked about possibly doing some drawings of uh, characters based on books, but that would be one thing, fun thing to do in the future. And I still gotta start doing the the uh, drawings for uh, Grace's Bestiary of like creatures from regular everyday creatures mixed with fantasy creatures. So those will, those will probably be speed draws that I'll do. I'm not sure, but... Because right now... Oops. No. This, I'm trying to do... This might be what I do, but I might redraw them one more time. Cause I like the uh, kind of like the pose, but I think it could be a li little more epic. And it kind of just looks like that dragon warrior drawing I did a, long, a while ago. With that, I'm gonna fix the ground because I, I just wanted to draw something underneath him, but that looks exactly like the ground under the dragon warrior. <laughs> so, and I'm worried I'm just recreating that drawing. So I, I'm, I'm probably gonna put him in a forest setting, but a different kind of forest than the one that Grace is in. Or just in a uh, dark street, maybe, and he's just surrounded by ma like a bunch of uh, different types of different mage that are trying to fight him. Just robed characters, I think that would be kind of cool. So yeah, that might be something we could do, just like have like silhouettes around him kind of sorry I know I didn't say I was gonna work on this but I just I wanted to show you what kind of some of the stuff I plan to do maybe like a berserk kind of thing where he's just like this where there's different size ones too That looks too even. I don't. I don't like symmetry with pe crowds. Three is good. Maybe I'll make like one where you're going over the shoulder, kind of. So he's up front, and it's like this. Yeah. That'd be kind of cool, something like that. Okay, yeah, I, I just made myself more excited. That's what I'm gonna work on next, though. Where's my, where's my booth team? I just wanna get the line work done right because I found a way to do the coloring faster. And uh, that way we can, special thanks to, 
another artist. I think I mentioned that last time, but it it actually really has sped up my stuff. So I'm gonna No armrests. I'm overthinking this. <laughs> I mean, you know, Bruce Tim thing. All it would, do, all they would probably do is just make it a layer, make it like a dark gray, and then just do this. Well, they would do that, but I'm going to do something different because I'm going to. Oops, I'm going to go. What? What I, what I do? What, what I do? Oops. Okay. Oops. Trying to just make it a solid line as much as I can, and then just fill it all in. If it worked, it, it worked. And then we can just color inside of that. I'm losing a little bit of the line work, but that's okay, because it's not like it's anything amazing anyway. I wonder what her color scheme was. I think she was mostly blue, maybe? I forget. I'll make her top blue. Man, I forget. It's been, a, it's been so long since I've drawn her. I think blue and... Oops. Yeah, this isn't working great, but it's okay. It's that's why it's that's the best thing about using solid colors is I can just go over this again. These are just really flats at the moment. Quiet stomach. Make a dollar. In fact, even that blue is too bright. Should probably have something that's harder for this. I hate that. And you think it that's his colors. It's like his hair. Hey, Bill. Thank you.
Hey, that's not the color I chose at all. There you go. That's closer. Yeah, it still looks weird. I gotta figure out a better color for her. But like I said, these, I guess these are, I should calm down. These are just flats to put in color for later on. You know what, it might be just this background might be messing things up. So, yeah, it's definitely making things look a little bit different. Oops. Oops. Actually, the cool thing about this is I don't even have to worry too much because I can always just erase. Whoops. Excuse me, what? Fill brush, what are you doing? I guess there is no back to the fill brush, so. I can just go like this and carve out what I don't want colored. If it gets too close to an edge. <sighs> and I can fill in what it doesn't fill in. So it's neat. So we've been going about a half hour. I think I'm going to switch to the uh, just doing some line work on the comic. I think it's a good time to stop. It's coming along nice, actually. It's I got the color, I got the line work cleaned up a little bit more, going with the color. Oops, where's that? Oh, is that it? Right. Okay, just want to fix that line. There, now I won't do that again. Sometimes I draw this stuff so quick, or just parts of it quicker, then I have to go back and polish them up afterwards. But I like this. Okay. And we'll put like motion blurs in it and stuff like that on the on a, as a the last step. So I fixed the sound too because I forgot I could raise the um, threshold so that it picks up less even if something's loud enough in the background for me to hear. So, that shouldn't be a problem in the future. Not fair to... Having it... Although I heard that it wasn't very loud for uh, people viewing, so that's good. If 
fix that chin a little. There. Okay, we're done. I don't know why I'm goofing around more. Okay. Just one more thing and then clean up her pants a little bit more. Okay. On to the comic. This needs a lot of work, so. Not worry about the color right now. Let's go in. Wait, is oh. Let's create a new group for this just so that I can keep it under its own thing. I'll do the line work for this and a little lighter. I gotta forget. I was pushing hard for some reason. I'm like, what am I doing? It's not gonna register it above a certain like level of pressure, so I don't know why I was being so hard there. Because I'm like, I got, I got, I just want to catch up on this. Like, I meant to do more yesterday, like uh, this weekend, and I'll try to do some after this too. is I had trouble sleep I got I had trouble sleeping due to a someone's little car alarm went off that kind of screwed up everything but do 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 oh yeah And this is for people who keep hearing about these characters. This is Raising the Bard characters. This is the comic. This is Richard Steele Song fighting some plant monster. Yeah. <laughs> Best thing to do is just to try and avoid use, making tan, too many tangents. Like, don't let too many things overlap in the on top of each other. I probably already have some. See that this is almost a tangent right there. So I'm gonna have to fix that by going like this. There, yeah, that's better. These sleeves aren't that long anyway. They're actually, arms are not. There we go. That's better. <laughs> I was making his arms not proportioned to his body. 
He had like burly arms for a second there. <laughs> That's not him. There are other characters that are going to be in this that will be stronger than him, but he's kind of more like just strong kind of uh craftsman. I mean like guy who works with his hands a lot build. So you know what? I'm gonna try this. Let's see if this works. If it doesn't, whatever. But I'm gonna put the panels in now, so And then wait, we'll lower this. Oops. I said <clears throat> I said oops. Let me keep this oh, no not that. New layer. What? No. This is probably a lot of busy work for something that I don't need to worry that much about, but... Because in the past what I've done wrong is that you make the frame and then you break it up. And I just made the frame and then just kept making more frames in that frame. And that's... that done. So... I don't understand why it's not letting me... There we go. Okay. I think there's a way. Well, we don't need to worry about that yet. Yeah. Cool. Okay. And then. Yeah, you can do stuff like that. There's a way to be sure that it's a... Maybe... There we go. If you hold shift when you're making a, uh, a frame, you, you, it'll always be straight. So that's really useful. See, like, or it'll be at a specific angle. That's really useful. Okay. <laughs> the more you know. What if these are? I might have to double check with someone. But uh, might have to make these bigger. The yeah, the, those gutters are not big enough. Whoops, what am I doing? Where did I go? What did I do? Did I, oops, I, I went back too far. That's what happened. We can do that. That might no. Actually, I don't want to do that because I want a bigger gutter. Let's try two. Yeah. See what two does. That's better ish. Ah, three. Well, that's nine. <laughs> well, let's try four actually. Let's go straight to four, and if it's too big, we'll go back to three. So I want something that people can have the rest their. Yeah. That's a little better. Put some anticipation between the panels. Yeah. Okay. That's better. And then... Wait, 
I confused. How come? What? So if I go into this now. No. Yeah, now I can, if I'm drawing in this layer, it's only this window, which is really handy for line work. But we're not doing that yet. Although, maybe I should. Yeah, let's just do this. It might save me a little time. And I'm trying to get better at doing that. <laughs> so. Okay. Why did you go to that? Weirdos. Friendin. Yeah. Oh, they forgot to even look. <laughs> Did he send another message yet? Let's see. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Uh, since. Eh. I don't know. Nah. <laughs> I was gonna think, I think about putting some, like. And some music in the background, but not for this one. In the future, I will, but this one I'm just gonna. Since I'm doing something that requires a lot of the concentration, I'd rather just keep it quiet, if that's okay. So. I know it makes things really exciting. <laughs> I kid, it doesn't. See, that panel's confusing. Because he caught his arm. Try to keep them simple, but I'm going to give them trying to, since it's a closer view, I'll do a little more detail. Da, 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 da. Nice. Well, let's skip that panel. <laughs> we'll come back to you in a second. I kind of like that thing I do right now. That kind of looks cool. I do like the uh, the smashed uh, like fruit that. The gems for the eyes are uh, also look like they're just like carvings from a jack o' lantern or something. White stomach.
<laughs> oh yeah, I was saying that I might try to do some garlic phone. That was I think that was another thing I was gonna try to figure out find a group of people to do that with. I'll have to look on Discord and see if there's a server for that. Or if I can maybe get in with uh, some of the people I really like with their streams, because they seem really chill and they they kind of just like have fun and they don't they don't judge. So I, could, I wouldn't have to be self-conscious about like pulling them down or something like stupid like that. From what I have seen, they're all really nice. He's like turning his broken arm and his arm broke off and now these like tendrils are coming out of where it was. Razor sharp and barbed. Covered in spikes, maybe. He's just like, whatever. I fought worse. His daughter knows that this is going to be a long fight, so she's just like, we got to think of a faster way to end this. <laughs> there won't be a house. <laughs> it's like, I'm sure he'll be fine. He's going to be fine. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Oops. Why? Huh. There. Okay. <laughs> Good. I don't have to erase it. <laughs> but yeah. This is the panel where she realizes, like, she thinks more like her mother in this situation. She scientifically and like with that. She, her mom's a Grease Steel Song is an alchemist, so well she trained as an alchemist and now she's a into like preserving nature. Kind of like in this like ready pose, like oh uh, yeah, want to go? I was gonna give it legs, but I might make it like more like an octopus kind of thing, where it's got like these large branches for its legs because it did come in through the window like just a collection of roots. So it would make sense that it would just stay that way. Roots with some tiny rocks mixed in, but roots for the majority of it. All right, let's go back to this one. Oops. No, so this one. Okay. Damn. Yeah, if, if I put this, maybe if I put this other arm up, then that, that just explains it better. What he's doing. And I'll show this to some other artists and see if they agree.
Hmm. He has this mace. I guess he could do like an upward swing and crack it off. Like it's it's just dry dirt and roots, so hitting it with a <laughs> sledgehammer is essentially would do a significant amount of damage. In in this case, with his brute strength too, it uh bursted his the arm off completely. Okay, I like that. Worst case, I can go back and clean it up later. But I don't want to waste, I don't want to use too much time on these early pages because there's so much more to go. <laughs> Stories, not a significantly long one, but it's we're well, gonna have some chapters to it. Like they have to first they have to leaving their their um city doesn't take long. But then there's the whole finding a tracking spell to find her because they don't have any way of knowing where she is in the woods. I mean, it's a, it's a national forest. It's huge. It's like several states long. And she could be anywhere. Including, like, a spot where maybe the uh, fairy realm and the human realm collide, so she might actually be in the fairy realm accidentally. Which is one of the issues with the, their timeline is that if they don't get there in time, that might be where she's stuck. And um, along with the fact that she might be turned into some kind of like fairy human hybrid that can't live in the human world anymore. Or just doesn't have any sentience. <laughs> and it's just some kind of creature or monster. Because he... Because Richard's seen it before to some of his friends, but they get, they get trapped on the other side. That's okay. I think that looks pretty much like kind of what I want. splintering into all these pieces. Maybe it's actually just like a tree. It's formed into like the, a tree trunk kind of thing. It's all but the rings on the inside kind of. The roots, maybe the roots formed into it like a, a found, like they reformed into like a trunk. So the arms were like two trunks. He just like caught it with his hand, like, nope. <laughs> that looks cool. I like it. <sighs> Gotta make sure these line, the line work looks good. Solid, so I can just color over it later. He still got. I'm gonna have his hand still up there because I want to make it look like he was just that fast, where he just like this just went uh, like whip, like yeah. Maybe even put that blur line. Keep that there for now just so that it uh yeah I think it's okay okay now on to the next panel which will be right here might zoom in a little more for this one
because I'm kind of doing a lot of nothing here with this space around it. Well, actually, no, there's probably a, I probably did that for a word bubble, actually, so I want to keep it the same size. Like there's probably a word bubble here. Kind of like there's, I think there's one up there. Keep forgetting to put those in. I'll start doing that now. <laughs> it's mustache. Fun drawing him. That's the important thing with I mean, like I know that sounds like I like I'm being a know it all or something, but really you should make drawing characters that you like drawing. <laughs> I know that sounds obvious, but I've tried to do it the other way and it just If you're drawing in your free time and you're not drawing for someone else, make sure it's fun. Because I've done some art challenges that I just did for the sake of, like, I thought they would boost my uh, Instagram profile, and they didn't. So don't do, so don't do that. <laughs> just don't do it at all. It's not worth it. It's better to use that time to, like, study. Like, last year I uh, realized after I just wasn't enjoying some of the work I was making from the art challenges that like I wanted to get more into uh, digital drawing to speed up my production and I'd say it's this is if you I mean if you look at my work even it it shows like I really have put a lot of work into studying and I think it's really improved a great deal in a couple months but that's the point you got to put in the time and that it goes for like the time it takes to draw something too like I know there's plenty of shows out there and cool Marvel movies to go to but sometimes you just gotta realize that like drawing this especially with a comic I hate to say it but that that's a huge time commitment so I mean so is the the education too is a huge time commitment which is why the comic thing is for is it dead because I'm spending so much time trying to learn how to do digital so now that I've gotten further I'm going back to the comic and I'm using some of the stuff I learned and picking up some new stuff for other artists on like how to save time drawing digitally You know what? Let's... Hope that makes sense. So I don't want to guilt anyone. If, if you want to watch a movie, take a break and watch a movie, but then just make sure to make up for that time with your work. Like last night, I watched the uh, the, the, f the first movie from um, My Hero Academia, and it was good. Not great, but I thought the third movie was better, but I mean, obviously, by then they had more money and they could put more production value into it. Plus just the animation for the... There's a chase scene at the beginning of the third movie that was really had really cool parkour in it, and the, the first movie they didn't really have anything like that. They just had like some people help them helping people do regular things, which was nice to see. It wasn't exciting to see, and I felt that they could have 
illustrated it differently, I guess. Because like for instance in um in Invincible when Adam E when she does help for people, she did a lot of cool stuff like shifting the atoms of plants so that they grew faster for like farmers that were in famine. So maybe like stuff like that would would have looked better. But again, they didn't have much time probably, so I'm sure that they were under a tight deadline. But it's still the good. The villain was kind of confusing. I was hoping there was a little more story to him because the guy in the third one had at least kind of had a story. I mean, it was dumb too because they're just villains that are like for a movie. But at least they weren't Naruto bad, so I guess I can't complain. <laughs> like some of those guys were like, ooh boy. It's like, really? <laughs> That's your plan? Okay. This is still kind of rough, but that's okay. It's cleaner than before, so I can go in and color over it. Ugh, my hand's horrible. I want to get closer to him. Like he dodged most of them, but like one got near his face. You know, let's not even put this up here because that's kind of obscuring the, uh, that's taking up space that a bubble could have. Wow, I had two viewers. Cool. I wonder who popped on. Probably someone who... Yeah. Well, thanks for dropping by. It's always fun, great seeing people come by to check this stuff out. Well, it's in production because I'll have to figure out something to make this more entertaining. <laughs> I'll look into some what other people do. I know music's one thing, but I want to. I don't want to just do that. I want to make it like maybe just have some more stories. I don't. I don't know. I'd have to look up themes for like what people drop talk about for these. Most of the ones I watch, everyone's just quiet for the majority of it. With some, and they do have music though in those ones, so I guess that's what I need, maybe. Then appears the uh, that bubble. I think I'm going to try and do those kind of thought bubbles like the old school. 
I know some people put them in caption boxes, but I might put that for like long like transitional scenes maybe. Like if they're traveling or something and they want to, I just want to have like a montage going on of sites they're seeing, but I still want them talking or like I still want her di inner dialogue. I could do something like that. That's a pretty good shot. Just telling myself that. Like, yeah, 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 it's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't even been checking to see if the mouth opens and closes correctly, but it seems to be going good. My neighbors are being quiet, so I'm not going to be rude and be the one that's loud. So... And maybe he's not even looking. He's kind of got his hands full right now. <laughs> Doesn't make sense for him to just turn his attention away. Especially since he probably wants her to get... <laughs> if she was leaving, he'd just be like, okay, good. She's going somewhere safer. <laughs> was going to have her grabbing the door, but she's just running through it. Like, maybe there's just a doorway here. She's running through that. I will put a door. But now that I have this frame here, at least I can kind of hint at what she's doing. Keep a round nose on her, but I do kind of like the hmm. a little bit over. It's a lot better. It was too big.
Do, 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 do. Maybe then I'll watch the rest of that um, second season of Owl House like I keep meaning to. The, uh, the first episode. I keep telling myself I'm going to watch it and then I forget. Because so I did watch the latest episode of uh, My Hero. It's interesting. Still think... I don't, I don't want to mention anything. It'll spoil things. Kind of having it so that uh, the third panel, I mean the, the the fourth panel and her running out the door are kind of happening at the same time. Kind of like she just, so he's caught it in here, so. Because I remember my first sketch, I had him, I, I wanted to have him like, just going to town on it like just ripping it apart but I'm like that would take away from the fact of that you're supposed to be looking at her she's bolting out this door out actually she's supposed to be talking she has a whole panel here of just like just running out the door maybe we'll th I'll, th I'll think of something else So that looks way better. How do we have time? Oh wow! Oh my gosh, everyone! Thanks for if you stuck with me through this. Thank you so much. If not, I get it. <laughs> but I mean, look what look what I got done in an entire hour and twenty minutes. We got the line work for this done. To it, I mean, I might clean up things, but I got the, I like the line work. And then I got the line work for uh, this page done too. So, cool. And now I just gotta put in the dialogue for this one and then just go back over and color it in. So thanks for sticking with me and um, have an excellent week. And I'll see you again on live on uh, Thursday. I'm gonna have this one, my Bruce Tim drawing posted on Tuesday. So look forward to that.